fellow gamers, welcome to the first episode of Friday Fun Day. Now before we get into this, I have to say the reason I post this, an episode about Friday on a Sunday, that's because when I recorded it on Friday, right in the middle of, a, of the recording, I got invited over to a friend's house. So, yeah. And for the rest of the weekend, it slipped my mind. So we're just going to pretend that today's Friday. So, for Friday Fun Day, we're playing Super Smash Bros. Project M. Project M is a hack of Super Smash Bros. Brawl that was made to be more like Melee. But, Project... What is up with my controller? <sighs> Hold on a second, I'm changing controllers. Okay, my controllers are switched, so hopefully this time it'll cooperate. So, as I was saying, Project M is a hack of Super Smash Bros. Brawl made to be more like Melee. The reason, and you'll notice some of the differences as we go along. Like, here's one difference. Zelda and Sheik are two separate characters. Another difference is that po instead of Pokemon Trainer, it's just Charizard. So... I'm just going to close my eyes and choose a character at random. And I choose Falco. Okay. You can also notice they have some stages from Melee and one from the original Super Smash Brothers. But I'm just going to hit random and see what happens. Ooh, Dracula's Castle. This was a fan-made stage. And it wasn't made from scratch. It was made based on... It's supposed to be the Project M version of Battlefield. And this replaces what what is occupied by Luigi's Mansion in Brawl. That's why it's playing Luigi's Mansion's music. One of the differences that makes this different from Battlefield is that in here the platforms move. Now, about how to get to Hark, I'm not going to tell you how since that will just be a big waste of time and I don't really know how. Since, my, since Neon Total down, downloaded it. So, if you want to down, yes, it's actually something you need to download on your SD card. So, if you want to go and see how to download it yourself, you want you want to go on to projectm.smashmods.com. Once again, that's projectm.smashmods.com. That's where you'll find instructions on how to get the game. So, I'm just gonna start. Talk about a Falco punch. Just so you know, right now I I am gonna stick to three stock matches for this. We have exploding barrels in here. Barrels filled with dynamite. No wonder this game is rated T. And now ready and fire! That's how I roll. No, 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 no! Okay. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> I really am. Come on, just let me kill you! Bombs? Presents! Oh, it's, it's an exploding present. Imagine if you actually got an exploded present on Christmas. That would just be sad. Really, the Hammer Brother? Ow. That is not a good way to kick off the episode. Losing on your first match. Another thing that makes Project M different from uh, me from normal Brawl is you can notice there's no background now. It's just black, just like in Melee. So, I think we're going to do something else with our time now, since we already did a Brawl. Um, let's see what's in 
Yeah. Let's do something in the stadium. Let's do multi-man smash. In here it's called a multi-man smash, not multi-man brawl. What makes it even catchier is that in, in melee it's called multi-man melee. Try saying that five times fast. Anyway, in Project M, a multi-man brawl is basically the same as it is in Brawl. So basically, th this is kind of like a combination of playing Project M and Brawl. Because some of the things haven't changed. So you can also consider this a Brawl episode. But I'm just going to call it a Project M episode. So I'm just trying to smash my way through these enemies. And out of all of these, I've only defeated eight? That's kind of sad. Well, now it's down to ten. Just let me slice and dice the alloys. One of the weird things is, when you get up close to one, like in a picture thing, it looks like they're sort of made of wire. Well, it did when I looked at them. It doesn't really look like that now. I heard that in Project M, Toon Link is supposed to be as powerful as Young Link from Melee. So, I'm just slicing my way through enemies. I wonder if there's anything to talk about. Wow, I've run out of things to say on a, on a let's play sort of thing. That's kind of pathetic. Come on. Always, they're always so easy to kill. I wonder if they actually have plushes of alloys on eBay. They probably make them somewhere in Japan. I don't see why Japan makes everything in video games. Japan is filled up to the, over their heads with video games. Why can't, couldn't have I been born in Japan? I want to go to Japan. I noticed something. Before that green alloy killed, well, not killed me, but kept smacking me around, I, w I had as much damage as I did the number of enemies I've killed. I still have left. you agree with me but when you see link with the hook shot you can't rotate the picture here but usually you can if you rotate to see his face he look kind of charming you should try that on brawl sometime and see if, if you agree with me you might not but i think he looks charming like that wouldn't be i wouldn't be surprised if he used that profile icon for an online dating website Again, Link already has a bunch of girls waiting in the wings. Like, of course there's Zelda, then Malin, Princess Ruto, but I don't think that has a big chance of happening. Then there's Saria. But still, when it comes to some non- uh, when, Not non-Wind Waker, non-Ocarina of Time characters. Um, there was this duck- bird girl sort of thing in Wind Waker. I forget what her name was. Uh, I forget it. <gasps> Somebody! He's dropping! Somebody is dropping trophies where I can't reach them. Why, Somebody? Why? store isn't in Project M, so why is he in here? Well, I guess uh, when it comes to Multi-Man Brawl, the laws of Project M don't apply.
I wonder if I'm able to defeat them all. Slicing through these things like there's no tomorrow. But for them, it's no tomorrow! Poop. This is a rare thing indeed. Hmm. So, what to do? I guess we have three minutes on our hands. Let's do a three minute smash. Here we go. Let's see how many guys I can kill in three minutes. I think if I ever do another game, like where I play Brawl instead of Project M, I think I'll do the 15 minute smash for the whole episode and see how much I defeat. I'm just slicing through these guys, hoping I can kill a lot. Right now I'm just smashing buttons. Hoping I can actually hit something. Ooh, the fans! I heard these are really cheap when you're using them against your enemies. Pokeball must get! Come on! Can you please let me get the Pokeball? Oh god, that's my Pokeball! You're gonna pay for that! I wonder what the world record is for the three minute smash. So, come on, let me kill you! We still have some time. Well, we don't have a lot of time, but we still have some time left. Hey guys, this is Neon Toolzab. He just walked in on me, didn't know what I was doing. I'm just dropping in. You probably can't hear him since he's not close to the mic. I'm just he's dropping in. He said he was just dropping in to check on something. You didn't say it was slang. Okay, well, I guess that we're out of time here, so tomorrow I will post the second episode of Mario Madness. See you guys then.